On 11 at 11 tonight, a mother's plea after her son dies in a horrible way in a terrible place. Aaron Perry was found by Bengals tailgaters dead of an overdose in a portalette on Sunday. Nine on your side's Evan Millward spoke with Perry's mother just a short time ago. Evan? Well, Carol and Craig, it sounds like a disgusting way to die alone in one of these shooting up your belt wrapped around your arm. That's kind of the point Aaron Perry's mom wants to make tonight. And she says by raising awareness about heroin use, that's how she will move on and how she will honor her son. Just share it. I don't show the porta potties show because that is it. That's real. That's reality. Don't sugarcoat it. There's no sugarcoating this. Colleen Perry clicks through happier images of her 26 year old son. Aaron is the godfather of this beautiful little boy. She's got to find the best for his celebration of life Saturday in Ross Township. The one thing he never wanted to do and it break his heart was disappoint his dad. None of them will ever see the smiling guy who could whistle any tune again. Amid the revelry of a rivalry. There was terrible news. Deep down, Perry knew when she heard a body had been found here at a porta potty downtown. But you know what? I closed my eyes. I said, Is this the night that I wake up to the phone call or the, the knock at the door that he has been found passed away? Perry admits she was an enabler, but then she set him up for jail and a third attempt at getting clean. He did. Then he was homeless, living in that porta potty for safety. I got to see him today, his his body today, and I and I said I'm fighting this battle for you. She'll never stop missing him. No mother ever could. And it's a strange thing, though, how pain can push someone in a way nothing else can. But for now, it's back to those pictures for Saturday. Come see the pictures. Talk to your kids. And I'm not talking about teenagers. I'm talking about younger, before they hit it. She is a mom on a mission now. That celebration of life will be Saturday at Ross Community United Methodist. What stood out to her and to many of us is that this is actually the second heroin overdose death found in a porta potty outside the stadium on a game day already this Bengals season. The first was back on October 8th. We're live outside Paul Brown Stadium tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.